Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today we are going to be starting a new uh, pipe refurbishment series or, or pipe uh, refinishing series. And uh, in this case we have this pipe which belongs to my good friend Mark. Uh, Mark is known on YouTube as Bama Guitar Dude. And he acquired this pipe and was not real happy with the finish on it but likes the pipe a lot, and I understand why, because it is absolutely a beautiful pipe. So this is a Peterson St. Patrick's Day, and I'll see if I can get the band in focus for you, so you can see the, the stamping on the band. Yeah, hopefully that's coming through. So it's a shamrock, and above it says Peterson, and below it's March 17th, 2013. So this is the Peterson St. Patrick's Day. That is also stamped, St. Patrick's Day is stamped in the briar. You can see it right there. Uh, the day is a little bit light in the stamping, so we're going to need to be careful of that if we do any sanding. Uh, but otherwise, that's very nice. Uh, you can see the Peterson logo there on the stem. And on the other side, we have just a single uh, two-digit number, 05, which is the pipe shape in this case. So this is a Peterson 05. Uh, this is one of their classic shapes. Uh, it's a full bent Dublin with a bit of a calabash flare to it and really a, a nice shape I think. Uh, it's certainly one of my favorites. Um, overall the pipe is in excellent shape. Uh, this, I, I believe Mark got this as an estate pipe but it's not, it's either been very well cared for or just simply not heavily smoked. Uh, the bowl appears to have been recently reamed and I'm not going to do much there. There's a few rough spots I might I might um, try to clean those up with a bit of sandpaper but uh, really it doesn't need much work at all. The inside is likewise in, in very good shape. Now this um, is one of these Petersons with a little sump in the in the uh, shank of the stummel. So we'll probably get in there with some Q-tips and clean that out just to make sure it's clean. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if Mark wanted this to be retorted at the end. I can certainly do that for him. It's, uh, it's not an issue, but I'll, I'll check with him to make sure. Uh, the band is in good shape. We'll polish that up. The stem itself is, is I mean, it's practically like new. There is a little bit of uh, tooth chatter here right near the button and there is one sort of large tooth mark right in here. Now, there, there you can see it right there. Now, I would really hate to try to file that out because the, the stem is just in such good shape. I don't want to do too much reshaping on it. Um, you know, the button's really nice and crisp and on and that's going to change everything. So what we'll do is we'll try to lift that out with some heat. It's not that deep that it's going to be, you know, a structural problem. If we can't lift it out with the heat, uh, we'll get rid of the chatter marks and we'll just live with the, uh, the slight indentation there. And the same with the bottom, you know, we'll just do a little bit of light sanding to get rid of the chatter. <clears throat> and then polish up the stem. Now the thing that Mark did not like about this pipe, because uh, there is an awful lot to like about it, uh, was the finish. And I can see uh, what he means. The, um, the grain on this pipe is, in my opinion, just absolutely spectacular. Um, it has this beautiful flame grain, uh, some really nice bird's eye, and that bird's eye is, is you know, all up this side, continues around to the bottom. It's very nice, and then the, and then the, the flame starts, and you can even see in spots the, uh, the bird's eye kind of peeking through the flame grain, which I, I just think is a really neat effect. Um, the pipe does have one spot right in here that's kind of dead, um, and that's unfortunate, but uh, yeah, it's, it, it also adds character, so, you know, it's not that terrible. Uh, the top is in great condition, you know, we'll clean that up. Uh, I, I believe that most of that is, is going to come off uh, without any worries about sanding or anything. So, Mark said he did not like the, the finish because the, the grain just isn't really popping, and I, I see that. And he also prefers a uh, reddish mahogany type finish. Um, so, um, that I'm not sure about. You know, I hate to... Th these pipes are intended to have a brown finish, and I, and I hate to, to change that. But uh, if that's what he wants, I'll certainly do it. 
I want to clean it first and, and just see how it looks when it's cleaned uh, with the original stain. And then I'll let him decide. And, you know, honestly, I think this pipe will look great either way. Uh, and it's certainly no, no problem at all to do a, a contrast. I'd probably do a um, black grain stain and then a, a mahogany over, overlay on that. And I think that would wind up looking quite nice. So the, uh, the basic steps are going to be to get the stumble cleaned up, uh, take care of this, this chatter in the stem, and then uh, just polish everything up and see how it looks at that point and decide whether or not we're going to go ahead and sand the, the stumble and restain it. And if so, we would we'll do the restaining. So I don't think this is going to be taking um, a very long time. This is a pretty simple restoration project. Not really even a restoration, more of a cleaning and, and refinishing. Uh, so probably we're only going to have one additional video in this series. I'll have this introduction video and then we'll, we'll have the, the work and the finished product in the next one. So you can uh, look forward to that. If uh, you enjoy these sorts of videos and you're not subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscribe button um, and this way you'll be able to follow along as, as I work on this pipe and, and other pipes and as always uh, I would greatly appreciate your comments uh, love to love to hear what you think of these projects and if you have any suggestions or any questions feel free to uh, to pass those along so until next time please take care and I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon goodbye now